All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And now we're ready to go ahead and uh, pretty much finish up our painting inside of ZBrush. Um, you can see that we have our um, color pretty much done. Um, but now what I want to go ahead and do is add some of the scale detail for the body um, and also a little bit more detail in terms of the actual color. And then we'll go ahead and jump back to Maya. We'll go ahead and texture the eyes, which is, you know, a fairly simple process. And we'll go ahead and then convert the color map so that we can use this inside of Maya. So let's go ahead here and finish painting up here. We want to just make sure that we turn off the, the Z and the Z sub. Um, just make sure that we have our RGB channel on. Go ahead and turn our intensity down. Just jump back to our texture here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sample our purple. Go ahead and make sure that we turn this off so that when we paint, we don't uh, paint anything that we don't want here. Just make sure that we have our symmetry on. And we're going to go ahead here and paint the purple around our eyes. And that is way too heavy, so we just need to go ahead and turn that down. Okay. It looks like he's almost going to be wearing um, sort of mascara, and that's fine. Um, that's what I'm going for here. Okay, so let's go ahead now and put the scales in that we want, and we're just going to go ahead and sample from the color here, and we're going to go ahead and sample the blue. Okay, just make sure that we use our drag rectangle stroke here and we're going to go ahead and grab our scales brush here making sure that we do have it mirrored I'm going to go up and turn the intensity up here a little bit and it's definitely going to have to come up a little bit Definitely going to have to come up just a little bit more here. Okay. And we'll probably have to turn it up just a little bit more. That's going to be too dark, so 30 should be, I'm hoping, fine here. That looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our focal shift here. Just start drawing these out. And this will just take a little bit of patience to really go ahead and get it in, um, in place the way that you want. Um, it just definitely takes a little bit of adjustment and a little bit of time. And we'll just continually drag out here. see where it just takes a little bit of placement patience here to really get that laid out in a way that it um, should work. You can just see where you basically have to do 
um, each one manually and that's okay um, with a little bit of patience you should really be able to go ahead and get them basically placed in fine okay so let's go ahead here and start working our way up the neck Go ahead and do the front here. Okay. And we're going to go down, go ahead and go down the face here. Just making sure that I turn off my symmetry for this one, just so I um, can get down in the middle of the face and not necessarily have a have an issue. Work my way around the eyes here. That one probably isn't going to work, so we'll just jump back and draw it here. Okay, so I think this is going to be fine here. Let's go ahead and maybe change our alpha here to where is the dotted ones? Maybe go ahead and throw some of these in here too, just to add a little bit of variation on the body. Okay, we're also going to go ahead and make sure that we throw in some white ones here. I'm just, you know, basically throwing these on the fins so that it adds a little bit more variation on the body. You know, we can always go ahead and adjust this map inside of um, Photoshop too once we convert this over. So I'm just trying to just add a little bit of variation here. I'm just trying to basically um, make it kind of cool to look at just going on really on feel here and since this is a cartoon character I'm not necessarily um, worrying about actually having a lot of detail in the the scales because I don't want to make it too over overly complex and that's why I just simply painted those scales rather than sculpting them in but if you wanted to do that you know you can simply go ahead and do that while you paint just uh, make sure you add it with a Z intensity and also the color and then you just you know simply drag those spots out because then it would be the color as well as <coughs> having some detail on the skin Okay, and I think that this is looking uh, pretty good. 
pretty neat in terms of the actual color base that we have here. Okay, let me go ahead and just turn that off here. Okay, we'll go ahead and scale in. And I think that we're okay here. I'm just taking a look at the final pieces to make sure that we get this basically blocked in where we want it and get it all laid out properly. I think we're okay here. Okay, so at this point what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I save this. Okay, so we'll call this paint um, creature painting three so I know exactly what the the file is so that I know that I make sure that that I actually have those maps <coughs> and have all the painting done okay so at this point we're ready to go ahead and convert that um, texture over to a, a uh, or our painting over to a texture map so what I want to make sure that I go ahead and do here is we'll come up and Go over and go over to new texture here and I want to make sure that I make it at 4096 by 4096 making sure that I have white selected okay go ahead and hit new okay come up here to tool come up here to UV map since we already imported with a UV map on the character you don't necessarily actually have to go in create a new v, new UV map inside of ZBrush, but I tend to like to do that simply because I try to keep stuff um, uniform. So we want to make sure that we match the texture to the UV, or the UV to the texture. So we're going to make it at a 4096 map. Okay, click create. And we're just going to use the, uh, any one of these. We'll go ahead and use the GUV tiles. Oops, I'm sorry. We need to make sure that we jump down to our lowest subdivision level here. Okay, go ahead and GUV tiles. We'll go ahead and jump back up to our highest subdivision level. And we will take our polypane here. I believe it's this one. Um, no, it actually isn't that one. So we need to make sure I find it here correctly. Okay, take our texture map, hit create, we're going to hit new from poly paint, and this will just take a minute to go ahead and create, and you can see that it jumps into there, into our window, okay, we're going to go ahead and clone that texture, we're going to come up here to texture, we're going to flip it vertically, and then we're also going to export our texture map. Oops. And I want to export it as either a PSD or a BMP. The JPEG, the PNG, and the TIFF files, they will work in terms of it whenever you convert it through X normal. But in a lot of cases the PSD map and the BMP actually works a little bit better so we'll just go ahead and um, export this as both the PSD and the BMP just in case we have um, errors with one or the other so we'll call this the creature body killer one okay we'll go ahead and export that we'll go ahead and export it as a BMP file as well And now that we have our maps exported and our Z tool saved, I'm going to simply end this lesson and then we'll jump back to Maya in the next lesson and make sure that we export that so we can go ahead and convert it and get everything working inside of Maya. So come on back.